Boom shakalaka, welcome to Malaka. One, from Malacca guys uh, we're having breakfast yes breakfast of champions yes some coffee for Gigi some coffee for me black of course and some noodles which look nice and Gigi which is already mashing the ice in her coffee I'm very excited about my coffee yes and some noodles for her as well the only difference between my noodles and her noodles are mine are spicy hers are not spicy so let's grab a bite Very good, meaty, noodly, deliciousness, perfect for starting the day. Today is gonna be a full adventure day of going around Malacca, exploring everything from temples to old buildings to ruins to whatever and food as well. So stick to it and let's enjoy our day together. So guys, we are at the Chen Hun Teng Temple. This is an old Chinese temple. And what's special about it, 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 it was made in the 1600s, 1645 if I remember correctly. So that's almost more than 400 years old. This way making it the oldest temple of Malaysia, the oldest Chinese temple of Malaysia. And this temple is combining basically three religion, religions into one. Uh, Confucianism, Taoism and Buddhism. So uh, this has been restored recently. And since it was restored in 2003, it became a UNESCO World Heritage and the locals here, they like to come and pray and enjoy the nice and quiet and serene atmosphere. And also another thing that is nice about this place is the fact that this temple is located on Harmony Street. This street basically is called Harmony Street because it has a Chinese temple, it has a mosque and it has a Hindu temple all on the same street. And coincidentally, it has also our accommodation which is located exactly next to this wonderful temple. An interesting cultural thing which I found out, so this temple, as I told you, is serving three religions. So the Buddhists believe that when you're going inside, you should pet the lion's head and be nice to him because he's a living creature. And the Taoist people believe that if you play with the ball inside of it, it will bring you good luck and good fortune. So I don't know which theory to believe myself. I kind of tend to the first one. And just as I told you, next to the Chinese temple we have the mosque. This mosque was built in 1748. It was originally out of wood, but now it has been made out of brick and it has been restored and everybody can come here and visit it and pay their respects to their god inside if they want to. And further down the street is the Hindu temple. So. That goes to show you, you have over there at the beginning of the street Chinese temple, here we have Muslim, mosque, and then over there you have Hindu temple. Another very interesting thing about this mosque guys, right, which is called Masjid Kampung Kling, it's basically the mosque from the Kling village or the Kling neighborhood here in Melaka, um, is the fact that this mosque has actually Hindu style like architecture and this is written over there it has a lot of background from the hindu uh, architecture it has some influence from the sumatran i think which actually built the the mosque and you can see like the minaret looks a bit different than what we're used to right you're traveling like in bangladesh or pakistan or like the central asia kazakhstan uzbekistan they look different and this is an 18 uh, 18th century old mosque so 
Really cool, eh? And finally, on our list of the three temples for the three religions predominant in this area, we have the Hindu temple. And unfortunately, out of all the three temples, this is the one that's closed, so we cannot go inside. But still, nevertheless, looks nice, very colorful, like most of the Hindu temples. But you saw a lot of Hindu temples in our previous videos, so you didn't miss anything. Now that we finished with all the temples and all the religious places here inside the center of uh, Malacca, it's time to show you the other side of Molaka. Gigi, look quick! There's a golden man there. Oh, yeah. He's the Oscar of Malacca. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, what does this area around here look like to you? How so, does it look similar? I mean, to me it looks a lot similar to something I saw before, but what about you? This is uh, the city center of the historic UNESCO World Heritage City uh, Malacca and this city has been known since a very very old time basically since 1753 uh, most likely I mean the 18th century when it used to be a step by step a British colony a Dutch colony a Portuguese colony so it has everything you would ever imagine here a lot of people came here and left their marks around here so during this video you will see a lot of imprints from this former people and colonies. Yeah, true. So this basically behind me, you will see like it has this building has the name Status. That would mean like the the, the principality office? Maybe? Yes, the house of the city if you take it like literally. House of the city maybe? It's a Dutch word. So basically this will tell you that this town has Dutch influence. Basically I wanted to go inside the Stadhuis and show you a little bit around but unfortunately today being Friday it's closed but nevertheless I got you. Here you have some nice footage from inside and some pictures and some whatever. It's a museum so yeah if you want to come here you can come. Foreigners have to pay 20 ringgit and locals have to pay 10. Hmm, okay, uh, and it was built in 1641, so this one is even older than the church around here, which we're gonna go and visit right now. Hopefully this one is open. So this church was actually built as a commemoration of the 100 years of occupation by the Dutch. So the number you see on top of the building, it, the actual colonization period started 100 years before that. That is really interesting. And after that, the British came here and they started doing like other things, adding some things to the church. So now it's a mix of Dutch and English. From the looks of it, I think this place around the Stadhuis is the center of the city where all the people hang around and all the tourists are flocking. That's why you will find here a lot of knickknacks, a lot of uh, shops, and also a lot of entertainment like the Golden Man you saw earlier and rickshaws and basically things to catch the eye of a tourist and help them spend money. In other words, tourist traps. So because we are seasoned travelers and we've already seen a lot of these, we're heading more up the hill to see the other historical things that this place has to offer, which is here. And halfway there we stopped at this viewpoint and look Gigi, see? There's the sea! So, why did we come here? To see the sea. Okay. Something else up top? Uh, yes, buildings. And then we can see the sea up close. Okay, let's do it. Many of you have heard about the Portuguese conquistadors. And out of all the conquering people, they were my favorite kind because, like, unlike the Spanish, they would always treat the people which they conquered nicely. Look at uh, Brazil for example, that's why the Brazil still speak Portuguese because the Portuguese are actually nice with them instead of treating them like dirt. So uh, here as well, when they came here, they built this church in, on the top of the hill overlooking like the most beautiful place that they could find. And a little bit of correction from what we said earlier, the Portuguese here were first, then came the Dutch and then came the British. And this church has been here since the 1500s. 
1511 if I remember correctly and it still is majestic here and very beautiful. It, to me it looks like a perfect video game set. I feel like I'm Nathan Drake and I'm exploring this place and I'm looking for something to pop out. Or like Indiana Jones waiting for snakes to come and loom underneath this catacombs of this church. Nowadays there are no more Portuguese, there are no more conquistadors, there are no more conquerors. Nowadays it's just us and the tourists around here who prefer these places. They come here to visit it, they come here to explore the former glory of the past and to enjoy the beautiful scenery from here. And also buy some souvenirs from the local shops around here. And yeah, it's nice, it's fun. So that being said, we should continue our journey as well because we stayed here long enough and I think the locals are already angry of us taking up their time. Similar to Romanian tradition, if there's a well or something that is covered, people throw money inside. So yeah, looks like uh, Malaysians and Romanians are not that different after all. Go figure. And now we're ready to go down the busiest staircase of here. Because look. Whoosh. So many people. Many more people than on the Chinese wall, I guess. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. hello, hello, hello. Ding, ding, ding. Going down. Yeah. I think this is A4. Literally, A4. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. <laughs> People are so enthusiastic about seeing me and Gigi that they fall down on the steps. Right, Gigi? They were so enthusiastic to see you. They were like, oh no, oh no, please. I want to hold my footing. Okay. And now we arrived at A Fort. Again, I make this joke because it's so funny because the name of the place is literally A Fort. Yes. Or A Fortreza, or A Fortes, or A Fortaleza, Forteza, Forti, Fortificados. Sorry guys for butchering, my bad. It's a famosa. A famosa forta. Fortaleza. <laughs> okay, no more dumb jokes. I'm sorry. <laughs> Not much to see here, just some people taking pictures and this is like the spot for bringing your kid because you have cannons and and kids can have fun and kids have and kids can have fun on cannons and now this guy is ruining my vlog with his loud music do you think this is how uh, malacca was conquered yes like this by the portuguese and there's also a lot of museum around here, especially this place, which is the Sultan's house, I think, residence, and the memorial place, and many other interesting places. But they are closed, and I don't know if you're that much interested in seeing museums. I mean, if you want to come, you can come and visit them easily. Why would I? Why would we show you museums? Sometimes they're boring. Better yet, let's go do something more fun, right, Gigi? Let's. Women of health. Government health. Okay. okay. And what is going to happen tomorrow here? It will be a launch, a mini ceremony for okay. the launch for the our, our lorry, a new lorry. Okay. Ah. Yes. And then uh, another okay. one is for ASEAN Combi. It's like Deng mm -hmm. uh, Edis, Edis for, for, Dengi. Dengi. for the mosquitoes. Oh, for the mosquitoes. Okay. okay. And so this is going to be people speaking and music and everything? Yep. Oh, and nice. food also? Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. And it's for everybody? It's closed circle. It's closed circle. It's only for the staff only. Okay. okay. Right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for Thank the you. explanation. Cheers. Thank you. <laughs> nice. Cool. Bye -bye. Thank you. Nice people. Oh, they stop the music just for us. Copyright. 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 I'm gonna say that so we don't get copyrighted. Oh, 
the tiger. Green cinemas, Toys R Us is the eye of the eye of the tiger. So, what did we saw on top of the hill? What did we see? What did we see on top of the hill? Um, we see the sea. Sea. So, by the miracle of time, boom shakalaka, and we made it to the sea. Yay! Yay. And to come here, actually. For you it was simple, it was just one second, for us it was a little bit more. We had yes. to go all the way here because this place is actually an island and this island, I don't know exactly how it came to be, it's an interesting place. What I can tell you is on the way here it was a little weird because every place was deserted. I mean, there was nobody around on the streets, uh, the whole shops were closed. I think this place is a new place, I don't know. I think what it's very it? new. Right? It's floating, it's a floating mob, so now it's very new. Yes, and we had to come, so when we came here actually now, we're inside a mosque, technically. So that's why I am barefoot and Gigi has to wear this uh, everything on attire, on. yes. It was an interesting thing seeing Gigi wearing this attire because, well, on this heat, with this whole clothes on her, she doesn't feel comfortable. But nevertheless, we came here and we can show you the sea. So, I don't know, maybe you guys can help me out with this here. How did this uh, island came to be? Was it here before or was it built later? My theory is that it was built later and nowadays it's serving as a commercial hub and also as a port, should be in the future, to go all the way to Indonesia because across there 80 kilometers across there is Indonesia. And Gigi, what is your theory? About this place? I don't know. It's new, it's old. I think you should, guys, you should tell us. Uh, they built another, they are building another island there. So it, it's highly probable that this place was also built like this. Like okay. that one as well. Like the do in Dubai. Yeah, on the sand. On the sand. So, that being said, I think it's time to go. It was nice, the sea is very beautiful, the Strait of Malacca. So yeah, thank you guys for watching our video, I thank you again. I hope you had an interesting tour throughout the city of Malacca with us. And stay tuned because more nice videos are following. So see you in the next one guys. See you in the next one, bye bye.